What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to Tech Cube. Today we are back in Tropico 6 for the seventh episode of our Let's Play Tropico 6 series. So, if you remember last time we left off, we just made it to the Cold War and we have started our construction of our tourism island, which will, in theory, bring us to, um, well, number one tourist destination. So, we have some things we need to do here today, like we need a tourist dock, some attractions, and some homes for Tropicans to live in that work in the tourism island. So, we will get to that if we turn back on the game here, and we'll speed it up a little bit to two times. The capitalists want a fast food joint, um, the eastern block um, wants a security checkpoint near their embassy. So I guess we can get that done real quick. This one's the eastern block. So we can go to here, which should be in government and finance. Uh, a security checkpoint right there, and we can put that right the there. The package has been franked, if you understand. And I will take the $5,000 in cash. And we have a low rebel threat. Let's check um, our almanac. We go to here, capitalists are in the highest standing with us, which is good since they have the most people. Um, and then, I believe, oh yes, we have the militarist industrialists um, also have a lot of people in them, and communists has the least with religious and environmentalists somewhere in the middle. So, uh, I think we should... Um, build a tourist dock. So let's go to here and or to tourist port. Um, uh, it doesn't really matter. It's almost the same thing. Anyway, we will approve the construction of it right there, and we can bring a road down to it. Uh, I'm hoping that I will be able to get a nice road to go through here. Unfortunately, the roads in this game just have to be a particular way. So I'm not sure how well I'll be able to get that. Maybe if I, let's see, we can bring this road up here. And then do this. And bring it up here. Uh, that might be good, however, I kind of want to bring it down to here. Down there instead. So I'm going to go to here, demolish this. Um, bring this down here like that. Bring it down here and go up there and connect. And that is nowhere near perfect, not gonna lie. Um, in fact, I think we can do a little bit of improving right there. Um, like we go to here and connect it up like that. Um, it still isn't the best, but it's still okay and we'll do the job for the time being. So we'll just turn back on the game. And we have this team support right here. So um, we will be able to easily build the tourist with no issues at all and it, the teamsters are already had never and I think the construction workers um, so they well let's take a look and see how fast they can get it done okay so they are uh, building it Okay, so with that being said, I think we turn our attention to some of the other tasks. We have demand for fast food, joint, and a hospital. Um, hospital, I'm not sure where I'm going to put fast food joints definitely going on our tourist island. Um, but let's get some housing for the Tropkins that live there uh, on the tourist island. I think a tenement's going to be the best way to go. So let's buy that blueprint and build um, one down unless you want. Um, it is low, lower quality residential housing for... 16 well, well low quality um residential building for 16 households tents must be at least poor emits little pollution decreases crime safety in the area um well it's not the best thing um this is um okay but i'm just gonna build a tenement here and we could build a police station in the future i know this is not ideal but at least it's not a contabello because um you know, screw having Contabello in a tourist area. Maybe in a highly productive area that might be better, but not in our tourism area. So it will get built and hopefully everybody in that's living in these ugly shacks will move out so we can build a nice utopia for our tourists that completely um, 
doesn't focus on at all the corruption and chaos that happens on Capitol Island. So, we should, um, okay, fast food joint, um, where can we find our fast food joint? Um, Median Education, um, Luxury Entertainment, uh, um, I think it should be, okay, right here, fast food joint. Unlock blueprint for the building. Build it for that amount of money, even though we only have three dollars. So I might just wait a little bit to build it. But somewhere in a corner over here or something might be pretty good. Um, what does the building look like exactly? Um, yeah, that's not a bad building to have anywhere. Um, kind of looks like an in and out restaurant to be honest a little bit. So that would be a good building to have here. And uh, the Eastern Bloc sends us some foreign State aid, so President thank you, Eastern Bloc. Subversives are everywhere. Heck, I might be one. Okay, so um, he wants us to expel Eastern Bloc. I right? see that's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> not at all. Um, because I think, well, let's see, a politics. Eastern Bloc is higher. Let's praise them. Suddenly we have someone to... Um, have an alliance with if the opportunity arises to protect us from the other one and we might join the nuclear club eventually oh a 10 tours visited so that's a start um, oh and it was this ship right here so yep um, that's a start but we need to uh, do more it is good to see you uh, build newspaper actually I will but I will accept your task but I'm not sure how long uh, until we can get it done because um, it's not my main priority right now. So let's get some attractions going now um, in tourism or something going at least. Um, tourism, uh, Cabana Village. Oh wait, these are, um, I think a lot of these are like hotels and stuff like that. So if we go to uh, Median Education, uh, Luxury Entertainment is where we want to go. Casino would be pretty cool, but um, that requires us to buy a blueprint. It would probably be very successful. Nightclub as well would be very good. So would a cocktail bar. Um, yeah, I don't know um, what we can build without going into debt yet. So I might just wait a while for us to get some ships in and get some money. Um, so these ships are traveling back and forth between the two islands. It's nice though we finally got another proper island. Um, to complement our capital island. Speaking of which, how is it doing? Um, it has some shacks, um, which uh, isn't ideal. It, it still looks like it's doing okay, though. Um, let's go into our almanac, though, and check our balance last 12 months. Um, okay, so we spent more than we earned, which, um, if <laughs> you know, to anyone that knows anything, is um, not ideal. Uh, let's see, wages. Actually, we're paying more for wages than anything else, actually, apparently. Um, security checkpoints, cheap, and then miscellaneous, um, diplomacy, blueprints, um, other stuff that we haven't got to yet. Um, well, let's see, what are we spending the absolute most on that we can cut back on? Barracks, by chance. Um, so how many barracks do we have here? Um, we have actually a lot. Can I shut a couple of these down? Because we probably don't need this massive military. Um, I can give it such a low budget, though. So, I think I'll do that for all of our military buildings. Because we don't need, um, this massive military right now. And I think, um, what was next in our expenses of wages? Um, it was the Teamsters office. And these are Teamsters offices. Right here, so I'll lower the budget of these two from 74 to 34. Um, right, it was 74? Yes, it was 74. So that will hopefully not get us to the richest country on Earth, but we'll hope, uh, we'll, but in, I will hope it'll help us um, at least get our debt Comrade, paid off and our economy back on track. Then burn the communique and eat the ashes. Okay, so visit the Eastern Bloc Embassy. That's pretty easy, and we could um, collect some money afterwards. Uh, let's see, um, Palace, Select El Presidente, um, Visit Building, oh, he's on the tourist island, um, even though he's a local on the Tropico, <laughs> to no one's surprise. Alright, so, go to the, um, <laughs> this place, the Embassy. Okay, 
and we'll turn on the game and El Presidente will head to the Eastern Bloc Embassy. Okay, so we are getting our money at least a little bit back on track. We are not in such deep debt anymore. We might want to get some more, um, oh yes, we need to get some of these going. So what can we do? Import, export, export, what can we do for export? Um, canned goods, um, we can make some money with apparently. Um, total bonus, um, let's see, how much canned good are we doing? Um, that's for the western powers. So, um, oh, did I just clear out a task accidentally? Oh, I might have, um, that was my bad though. Oh, it might have been the, um, capitalist task, that's unfortunate. Um, cause I think I accidentally right clicked on it. Um, okay, so I guess I was checking our canned goods production. Cannery, canned goods. Um, I think I will start a trade route though. Um, we already have a trade route for canned goods, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to have another one. However, I kind of do feel like I should build maybe a second cannery if we're going to do that. So this might be a little bit of a gamble here, but we will do a canned goods contract. And cigars we can look into later, and then there's a bunch of air stuff down here, like steel. In fact, I think we have steel. So, um, Eastern Block, feel free to, um, yes, yeah, steel mill. So let's build another cannery, because we're probably going to need one. Um, and, I mean, they're not that cheap, but they're not super expensive either. So I think we can afford to have another one, especially if it does start producing us a good amount of goods. And I guess we should, I guess, at least entertain the thought of expanding our industry area so we can make some more money because while tourism is nice um, it's gonna take a while and a lot of money and a lot of time to be able to um, well pay for itself in the long run and then make us money after that uh, so oh, our support dropped down to zero that's not what you want to see in a democracy I say democracy um, it's not really democracy. The citizens are demanding elections, President. Speaking it of that, that, they want the choice in how they are ruled. I will deliver an amazing speech. However, if this does not go our way, I do have, you guessed it, martial law. Uh, okay, so let's acknowledge issue. Let's find something pretty low. Fun happiness. Fun happiness. Um, okay, a uh, fun happiness does not uh, contribute to all. Um, approval of voters okay so we can just do um fun happiness then um who are we going to praise faction um let's praise the capitalists actually because the capitalists have the most and they might help us out in the long run um blame superpower western powers yes i know i know a lot of people might be upset about this because we're picking sides and it might not be the western powers you know um west germany uh, france uk um America, of course, um, instead we're going to the Eastern Bloc, which is like the Warsaw Pact, plus like Yugoslavia, Albania, and Soviet Union. Um, so we're gonna just blame the Western powers um, instead, um, because it's just a game and such. So we'll blame Western powers. Um, promise improvements, uh, fun happiness. Alright, let us deliver our speech. We could deliver healthcare happiness. Actually, that might be better, so we can build a hospital. Actually, I'm gonna do that instead. All right. Tropical, my beloved homeland, my adoring people. With sorrow I have watched you toil, but have faith in me, El Presidente, and your troubles will soon be over. My people, are you bored? Let Presidente entertain you. Oh, it's nothing fun anymore? Let Presidente be all the fun you need. You don't enjoy life? Let Presidente enjoy it for you. Our ongoing prosperity is supported by the capitalists. With thanks. We're grateful for the many fulfilling jobs you create for my people. And your progressive attitudes towards taxation. My people. Do not talk of the so-called Western powers. They are paranoid fools who accuse others of spying. <laughs> Their own spies shall retreat with red faces. Let us speak of the nation's health. More doctors do I hear? But that is not enough. We need better doctors working longer hours for less pay. So vote El Presidente, for the future that you deserve, all of you. Viva Tropico! 
Okay, so um, El Presidente just gave his speech there, and yeah, um, so let's see, 6%, that's better, but still not ideal, um, especially if we're hoping to win an election here. We might, if we're not going to win, then we could always, well, um, I don't know, we could always do martial law. I could create a save file beforehand and then um, restore it if I need to, but we'll kind of see what um, will happen. Um, actually, most people are um, have their thumb toward sideways, so they're not really sure what they're going to do. 6% uh, are going to vote us. Um, yeah, so it's 55, 38, 6. So, yeah, um... Let's see, um, we could always praise them, um, the Eastern Bloc, and then we could always activate an alliance, but we'll do that later. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, we go back to the politics, um, can we, um, we cannot be asked, we cannot ask for financial aid even though we're struggling. Okay, we'll speed up the game a little bit here, and just kind of wait and see what happens. Um, what kind of, um... Luxury entertainment do we have available to us? We have nothing available to us besides tunnel construction and, um, well, tunnel construction. Um, that's it, actually, apparently. Um, demolish free. Yeah, well, demolish better be free. Um, yeah, so we need more money, definitely. And how is the cannery looking? I'm not even done yet. Great. Um, how much did the cannery cost in the first place? Out of curiosity. Um, it costed, um, uh, oh yes, it costed $6,500. So, um, yeah, oh, okay, we're back on top now, even though we only have about 253. Um, now, <laughs> right back down again. Um, so what do you, um, well, we need to upgrade you, um, high pressure canner. Uh, wait, we can't because the economy. Alright, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Almanac, um, revenue versus expenses, wages is still number one, but it's still being led by barracks, so maybe we should demolish some barracks and kind of, um, not be focused so much on our military, because we are spending a lot on the barracks budget. So I could always go in here and fire a bunch of them, so our budget's down. Um, oh yes, um, supports the short-term measures, um, bribing faction leaders, fulfilling demands, um, um, image campaigns, or inverse lobbying, if nothing else, he's still trying to rig the election short victory, blah 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 blah. Okay, let's see, do we, how do we bribe the faction leaders? Uh, do we go in here and say bribe faction leaders, or, um, well, let's see, um, can we find... The, um, okay, let's take the factions. Who hates us the most? The environmentalist, um, yeah, faction leader, bribe. Um, yes, there's a portrait of me. Okay, bribe. That might, well, I don't know if that's the way you do it or if it's in like edit somehow. Um, I don't really see it in here though. I might miss it though. Uh, martial law that we need money for that. Oh, no, that's not ideal at all Okay, we need money for martial law if we ever have a thought of doing that um, Oh, this is the guy we're gonna bribe right here Okay, we can afford it now, but we might go into a little bit of debt. We'll kind of watch and see what will happen if it looks like we can't afford martial law and we're not gonna win the election um if we can afford martial law, I'll go for it, but if we can't, we might be screwed here, but I will, um, restore save file if I need to, if, if I really, really need to, but I want to, you know, hope, well, I want to win this election, you know, by, um, the, uh, legal way, but that's not gonna happen, I don't think, because our support's too low, and I don't want to have, like, um, the lose an election and then have to go back through save files and reload a save file. So I might have to stick to the safe side of things and just um, call off the election by doing martial law. Um, but we'll have to see again um, how much do we need to afford it. Edix. Okay, we can afford it now. 
Oh, I'm so worried. I'm so worried. Oh, wait, 57% have their thumbs down? That's not good. That's not good at all. We need um, better support. We need more people to have I'm their sure thumbs up. Citizens of Tropico intend to vote for you, Presidente. Um, yeah, slightly read just the ballots. Let me just go in here and... Not Election day? Election day, is that still happening? Do we have election day? Um, cancel schedule elections. Okay, great, we have no election. There go our problems. Oh man, I feel bad, but our problems have disappeared now. Um, low rebel threat. Yeah, I expect that to rise within a while. Um, Wow, look at that. The militarist shot way up because the militarists, um, you know, love martial law to, you know, no surprise. Um, next election, uh, I don't think so. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll have to kind of regroup and see if we can or cannot do the elections. We might need to build some more housing over here in, uh, the main Trumpkin Island of, uh, whatever this place is named. But... We should, um, I hope we can make some more money. Okay, so we made a little bit of money here. Let's go in here. Um, luxury entertainment. Well, all this stuff is expensive. Wait, no, I didn't mean to click that. Um, the Cabray. Um, maybe we can build the Cabray right here. Well, the, yeah. Cabray. So we'll build that now. Um, oh yeah, let's just, um, hope that, um, we can get enough tourists in here and that they'll be, um, well, satisfied with, um, our, uh, nation. We have, um, got in, um, 79 tourists, so that's something at least, if we can't fully make it. So, um, you are, okay, you have finished your construction, um, what else can we build? If we go to casino, I want to go to casino, let's buy it, but we won't be able to build it. So, yeah. Uh, so that was that. We could have probably got the cocktail bar if we really wanted to. Oh, look at that. There's tourists and... Yeah, and such. Can we click on you? Can we follow you? Oh, we can actually arrest them in this game. That's cool. Because I think in Tropical 5, um, you couldn't arrest. I think it was children or tourists. Um, I'd still imagine you can't arrest children, but at least you can arrest tourists now. So that's progress. Good job, Clipso Media. Uh, Alright. So, we are still declining. We really should um, hope, uh, build like a more stable income than we currently have. We should uh, build another... Uh, okay, what do you need? Okay, high pressure canner, which is... Um, ends not... Um, we can do meat now, I think. Um, increases job efficiency, which I actually might do both of them if I can do that. If I can, I think I can. Okay. Um, that thing, and... Yeah, we should have the automated stuff now. And, okay, let's see. Pineapple, fish, meat. Let's get some more fish going, shall we? Um, let's go to here. Um, fish, I think, is cheap. Even though we have no money to support it. So, uh, um, we research completed a couple things. How was our research doing? Um, early elections, yeah, that's never gonna happen. Um, Cold War, nuclear testing and such might be cool to have. Uh, media independence, oh, I would love to have some propaganda, uh, propaganda in our nation. Um, yes, I know, I'm a horrible person, but I would like the theory of, oh, our thing's on fire. Alright. Uh, these fire trucks are putting it out though, luckily, and yeah, they are putting it out though, and it's out now, so it's on, so it's gone. Um, we need um, some more. Oh, I think it's pineapples. Pineapples. Um, let's think about building a pineapple plantation. Oh, this grows horribly everywhere. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Plantation. Uh, pineapple. Let's put it right here, and then we can um, build this this way, and that that way. And we can uh, build some more plantations if we would ever need to, and we could build, um, yeah, so we have, so we can build more plantations we need to, and we can build factories and such this way, and well, really, um, whatever we need to do, we can probably build it up here. 
uh, somewhere anyway. So you trucks are um, heading out, and let's see how our trade is doing. Um, we have some of you. We have none of you. Um, we have some of you. So steel to the eastern block is definitely um, a good money maker for us. So okay, you have you delivered exactly what we needed yet? Um, you're making some canned good, which is pretty good. Um, as well, and your efficiency has increased to sen <laughs> when I got rid of some of your job. Um, so yeah, oh wait, no, this is the steel mill, my bad. So yeah, you're outputting as well. Um, everybody just needs pineapple though. Luckily, we have a pineapple plantation. Um, was this one pineapple as well? Though no, that was sugar. Were you pineapple? You weren't. So were you? Wait, wait, wait. So you telling me we never had pineapple for our pineapple plantation, or our, we never had pineapple for our um, cannery? Wow, we should have really got on that better. Um, yikes. Uh, so, you, okay, you are starting to get pineapple imported, though. At least you are, and you probably will eventually in the future as well get um, some pineapple inside you. Um, what happened here? Gorillas are attacking. We are receiving news that uh, did they leave or something? Oh, we... This probably... I don't, I don't know. Do not be alarmed. Um, this is so how are you doing so over here? Attack. Um... Doing well, I assume. Open slot. We can open slot if we need to. Um, however, that we might have to close more slots. How much are we spending on the barracks, regardless? Three dollars. Wait, three dollars out of fifty-one. Does that mean every fifty-one dollars we make, three of it goes to the barracks? Is that's pretty bad, actually? Um, yeah, we, I wouldn't like to spend three dollars out of every fifty-one we make on barracks. Not that's bad to spend that much on um, uh, single barracks alone, but especially when our economy is not doing so well, um, I wouldn't like to spend that much. Um, you're still producing, though, at least, and we are starting to make some money, but um, how are you doing over here? Doing uh, well-ish to an extent. Um, we have a hundred tourists in. Hopefully we can go in here, though, and tourism and luxury entertainment casino build and click play so we can run the simulation now and you um, will build us a casino which i think is going to be great for our tourism industry especially if we can get a couple more like really nice hotels in um you know these are pretty ish nice hotels nice ish they look better from There's a, a distance but you get closer and they're like eh the very However, eh. the um, <laughs> these, these look like they're like 50 years legal. old even though we've only had them here for i don't know less than a decade okay so casino's done now and yes you have three out of six of your workers in um yes hopefully tourists will be like oh yes i want to go over there um for um yes their tourism stuff tourism how much is a hotel four thousand four hundred dollars <laughs> in other words the money we don't have right now um eventually though we might want to think about getting in our dock and i might have already said that before but i want to say it again another dock or maybe two in here if we could fit them right there but i also might want to build another fish thing soon as well um while we can but we're down seven thousand dollars so seven thousand two hundred dollars um, that made us barely anything at all. Um, what's the next ship coming in? These two are heading out. This one's taking forever to get in here. Um, the Eastern Block sends us some foreign aid. Thank you, Eastern Block. Um, power shortage, victory, fire, tropical. So much to do. So, so much to do. Okay, so Reports are you... Um, are yeah, so you're coming in now. Hopefully you can, um... Is apolitical get us some more money because anyway. our the thing is not surviving that well um okay our ship's coming in now so hopefully that can bring us to um i think uh at least to zero um at the very least um but that got us to um well we're back now to negative um over a thousand because i love how we make some money and then we get like back over into we're, we're not in debt anymore um, the, um, everything we have to pay for just keeps bringing it back down over and over again. Um, it's really just, like, an infinite thing that keeps happening. 
Um, well, when our ship's coming in, though, and we really need to focus on that um, soon, though, getting our money thing on track. So you did that, and that's done. Space so, has been thank you, by the um, Western Power. Dude, I swear the radio in this game is like, you keep saying the same it's thing over and, over and over and over again. And that shift takes forever to turn in. Oh wait, that means a lot though. Um, $11,401. But, um, I think on that note though, um, I am gonna end this episode for today. Um, is, are you on fire? You're on fire. Don't worry, they'll put that out eventually. Um, please put that out. Or do we need to fire the thing over here? I think we need a fire thing over here. Um, but, yeah, I, that's not a great way you want to end an episode. But I believe with that being said, I am going to end this episode here. If you liked it, uh, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe with notifications on. And leave a comment in the comment section below. But I believe with that being said, I am going to leave it here until next episode. Tech Cubed, over and out.